Hello friends. In this video we will learn about earth movement and major landforms. Our earth is a huge jigsaw puzzle, where the individual pieces are fitted together, to create a big picture. However, the landforms that we see on the earth's surface have not remained same forever, rather they are constantly changing. About 250 million years ago, all the continents were joined together as a supercontinent known as Pangaea, set in a huge ocean called the Panthalassa. According to the theory of the continental drift, put forward by a well-known geoscientist, Alfred Wegener, the supercontinent Pangaea began to break up about 200 to 225 million years ago. The theory says that initially two massive continents, Laurasia and Gondwana land were formed, eventually fragmenting further to form today's continents. The Earth's crust is broken up into a series of plates, called lithospheric plates. There are seven major lithospheric plates and some minor ones. The seven major lithospheric plates are the African Plate The Indo-Australian Plate The Eurasian Plate The Pacific Plate The North American Plate The South American Plate The Antarctic Plate while lithospheric plates are constantly in motion, because, tremendous heat generated inside the core of the earth causes the rocks in the mantle to melt. These molten rocks expand, rise and push the plates away from each other. There are three types of plate movements. Divergent plate movement occurs when, due to forces of tension, two plates move away from each other. Convergent plate movement occurs when, due to forces of compression, two plates move forwards each other and they collide. Transformed plate movement occurs when two plates horizontally slide past each other. The movements of the earth are divided on the basis of the forces that cause them. Endogenic or internal forces that act inside the earth, they are of two types. Sudden forces, caused due to earthquakes, volcanic eruptions and landslides. Diastrophic forces, mountain building. Exogenic or external forces that work on the surface of the earth. They act slowly and result in erosional and depositional activities. A volcano is an opening in the earth's crust through which magma comes out onto the earth's surface. The magma that reaches the earth's surface is called lava. The passage through which lava travels is called vent. The top of a volcano has a cup-shaped or a funnel-shaped depression which is known as a crater. In active volcano continuous volcanic activity occurs and eruption can take place any time. For example, Mauna Loa in Hawaii and Stromboli in Italy. Dormant volcano is the one which has not erupted for a long time, but may erupt any time. For example, Mount Fujiyama in Japan and Mount Vesuvius in Italy. Extinct volcano is the one that has no record of eruption and no possibility of eruption in future. For example, Mount Kilimanjaro and Mount Kenya in Africa. Most of the active volcanoes of the world are located in a circular belt around the Pacific Ocean known as the Pacific Ring of Fire. Some volcanoes are also found in the Mediterranean Sea and the Caspian Sea known as the Midworld Mountain Belt. Earthquakes are sudden vibrations inside the Earth's crust caused by internal forces of Earth. They may also occur at the time of a volcanic eruption. The point where the earthquake originates inside the earth is called the focus. Earthquake vibrations spread out in all directions from the focus. The point on the earth's surface which is directly above the focus is called the epicenter. 
This place experiences the most damage during an earthquake. Earthquake tremors are recorded by an instrument called seismograph. The magnitude or intensity of an earthquake is measured by the Richter scale. The numbers in this scale range from 0 to 9. Earthquakes of magnitude 7 and above are very destructive and cause heavy damage to life and property. Most of the world's earthquakes occur in the belts of young fold mountains. These are areas where the Earth's crust is weak and volcanic eruptions take place frequently. In high-risk areas, construct earthquake-resistant buildings and strengthen the existing ones. When an earthquake strikes, if indoors, move under doorways or heavy furniture and stay away from windows and mirrors. If outdoors, move away from buildings, trees and electric poles. Mock drills should be conducted in educational institutes and residential complexes to spread earthquake preparedness. Hope you understand everything about plate movement, volcanoes and earthquakes. In next part we will learn about gradation, agents of gradation and various landforms produced by the agents of gradation.